What up, what up? So I'm sure you figured out from the title of this video, we will be turning a saw blade into a bell symbol. Alright, so um, I'm going to attempt to cut the edge off of the saw blade. Not sure if you can see that. Sun might be too bright. I have my cut resistant gloves. Definitely need these. And of course, a pair of eyes. Uh, let's uh let's try this out. I don't really know how this is gonna work. I will be using a cutoff wheel on a grinder at four and a half inch. Diablo cutoff wheel. The best of the best. That's not a paid advertisement. It should be, but it's not. I'm gonna go right there. Max RPM, 6,000. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty high. Alright, let's go ahead and change out the uh, cutting wheel with a flat disc. And of course, be safe.
So this is the end result. I lost um battery on the GoPro. I let it cool down by itself. It's kind of kind of warped a little bit. See if I can try and bend it back in place. We just kind of flatten it out maybe a bit. I don't know about that. Oh shit. It's not smart to do it on the end of them. Let's see if I can move this around. Trying to get the camera in view. And it's not doing much. It's not doing anything. <laughs> Trusty anvil. Shit, yeah. Trying to get this back. Back flat again. Should have did this when it was hot. Fix it a little bit. All right, I'm back with a paint marker. And in case you were wondering, this is a brake drum. It's going to be my form for beating the bell into shape. Alright, um, so I drew where I want my bell to be using this as a reference. This is going to be an experience because I don't really know what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Okay. I'll say I'm going to start off with a small peen hammer. See how this works out. Kind of working. Let's move up to a bigger, bigger size peen hammer. It's kind of working. <laughs> kind of fucking loud too. My neighbors are going to hate me by the end of this. I also have a bolt that I may try using. 
should be like an extra large <laughs> ball peen hammer. I don't know. I may regret this. But let's try it out. Looks like it kind of helped a little bit. So we're having an update. You can tell that the bell portion is a lot more defined. This brake drum seems to be working out as a perfect mold. Like, perfect. Perfect. I'm trying to debate what I want to do. I still kind of feel like I want to define the bell a little more. Maybe come out a little bit more with it. And I was kind of debating on maybe flattening flattening the edge, so like hammering all around here. I've done a good bit right here on the top, and I might continue to go out with it. I just, I don't know yet. The thing I don't like about it is the saw blade had two holes in it. <clears throat> two holes in it. And I don't know if that's going to hurt or help the sound. But... So I've taken the symbol and chucked it in my drill, put the drill in the vise, and I am going to sand it down with different grit sandpaper. I'm using 60 grit right now, so I can come back and polish it up. Okay, I'm skipping steps. I uh, I did. What did I just do? I did 220 off camera. So now I'm going to 320. And uh, I will probably go to whatever else I have after that. I think I might have 600, and then 800, and then it's going to look fantastic because I'm going to go down to a thousand. I should have a mask on, but I don't. The things I do for YouTube. Not looking too shabby.
look at that brilliant finish, boy. Did I mention I still don't know what I'm doing? Okay. Okay, we're going to go to... Okay. We're going to go to 1,000. No, I'm sorry. We're going to go to 800 and then 1,000. Okay, okay. Put this bag on. All right, so we did 800. Now we're going to 1,000. I don't know if I'm gonna go any further than 1,000. I might do, might do 1,500. Fuck it, let's go 1,500. This is where I stop though. I won't go any further than the 1500 because I do intend to still polish it up with some polishing compound and a buffer. Bu buffer. Buffer. Probably would have been smart if I had some way to clamp it down, but I didn't bring anything with me.
sure you've seen from the sound test that the bell portion of the cymbal is very dead. There's little to no tone from it, and it's very flat. I guess it has something to do with how I stretched the metal to get to that point. Um, by peening it a bunch of times and eventually just stretching the metal. That's probably a big part of why it's so dead. The rest of the cymbal, however, the flat part sounds fantastic. It's very loud. It's got a long sustain. And it really just cuts through the drums. It cuts through the cymbals. And it's very ideal for heavy rock and metal music. I recommend Anybody try this. It's a great fun project and you really don't know, you never know what you're going to get. So go ahead and give it a shot. Just be very experimental with it. I'd love to see what you got, what you come up with. So until next time, next project out of the thousands that I have started and never completed, I will eventually post, <laughs> post another video.